Hey everybody, this is Mr. Alaman, and I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to get your computer to read to you. Um, if you're somebody who likes to highlight sections of an article and listen along as your computer uh, reads to you aloud, uh, this is called Chromevox, and it's already downloaded on these Chromebooks. So I'm going to simply open up a URL page here. I'm on Google. Let's say I'm a student who's studying um, atomic structure. And I scroll down to find an article I want to read. Uh, here's a simple view of atomic structure. I'm going to click on it. And all you have to hit in order to read either a single word, an entire section, an entire paragraph, the three buttons you have to hit are all found on the left bottom hand side of your keyboard. And they are Control, Alt, and Z. You can hold them down all at the same time. And what you'll notice is, I'm going to do it now, Control, Alt, Z. On the very bottom right, it says Chromevox. Spoken feedback is enabled. So now, whatever you click on will be read to you. The last thing you'll need to know is if you want the section to stop reading, all you hit is the control button. Okay, so here's the title. A simple view of atomic structure. Now I would like to read this paragraph, but I'm going to pause it. I'm not going to pause it, but I'm going to stop it from reading to me by hitting the control button. This page revises the simple ideas about atomic structure that you will have come across in. So to get it to stop reading, you simply hit control. Now, once you want to turn uh, Chromevox off, you don't want it to be read to you anymore, you hit control, alt, z again, and you'll notice that now it's been disabled. You should have got that click, and now you can move around your page and like you, as you like. Um, let's say you want to again begin having the computer read to you, so control, alt, z. And I want to learn about neutrons. Neutrons don't have a charge, and so would continue on in a straight line. I want to learn about protons. Protons are positively charged, and so would be deflected on a curving path towards the negative plate. And now I want to disable it, so I'm going to hit Control Alt Z, all together. Control Alt Z, and now it's disabled. So now you're back to normal. Um, that was just a short tutorial on how to use Chromevox, which is a screen reader. I hope this video helps, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.